So what is up guys my name is Shubham and you are watching Shubhi's Gaming So if you follow the whole GTA and Rockstar space uh, if you are a gamer and follow this space that is that you woke up every morning check twitter and what whatever happens every day There was an article that was going on that was going mad viral about uh, Rockstar published by Kotaku of all companies of Kotaku uh, it was all about that uh, Rockstar might delay GTA 6 and all that stuff. So I thought, you know what? Let's make a video about it because I have been seeing a lot of panic and distress about this whole news that um, people have said that GTA 6 might get delayed, which is a rumor currently. Well, I am getting ahead of myself, but uh, I will explain this. This whole video why you shouldn't really trust this type of speculative articles which is it so without any more waffling this is relatively a short video let's get started with the point so today morning Kodaku published an article that trades GTA production reportedly falling behind Rockstar urges staff to return uh, to office to avoid delay. Now, even at first glance, this article's headline is a bit I had say misleading, but I am getting ahead of myself. Let's continue. So, the first part reads Of course, they, they are waffling about, you know, GTA 6 is most the most anticipated uh, video game title we already know, but at the second here part, However, as the remote workforce struggle with unwarranted return to office mandate from Rockstar, Kotaku has learned from sources with knowledge in of game development process of that GTA 6 could miss the 2025 release, release date and might slip into 2026. If you uh, continue to read all this, this uh, they are spewing all this thing that um, the management are forcing the workforce to not essentially forcing not but urges the workforce to return to more of a in office work for GTA 6 as it enters the final stage of its development and which we already heard from Bloomberg Jason Stryer's report. So this is the information we already have and if you realize it's more of that that Kotaku is basically spicing things up and nothing more yeah right here however Kotaku has learned that it the sequel might land into 2025 in late 2025 and an emergency case that it will be um, fall into 2026 and that's an emergency case right so this is this is basically all the information we already knew about the game that what do you expect it's rockstar games they delay their games of course and they that there is a reason they didn't uh, announce the tentative release date for gta 6 because they know that this game isn't finished and they're working they're still working on it yeah from the Kotaku article itself, Rockstar is aiming for a early to mid, you know, spring 2025 release date for GTA 6, which is fantastic, and that should be that should have been the main headline of this article, you know. But it's Kotaku. What do you expect? This article is basically not giving us anything that we don't know we already knew that rockstar is returning to its office or you know urging their stuff to re return to the office from bloomberg jason child you know report and if you don't know and if you uh, don't want to trust my words here tom henderson one of the deepster leads for gta 6 leaks and stuff he even said, I am not sure about what to make of Kotaku's article in GTA 6. 
no info is new and it seems to be just trying to stir the pot based on Bloomberg's reporting. Exactly that what I've been saying. So if you are panicking about the potential of GTA 6 falling to 2026, remember that that is the worst case scenario and that is an emergency option. It won't likely fall into that and if it does fall into that well we have been waiting for 10 years for GTA 6 what's more 2 years will do to us just stay alive and more likely of the thing is it will release essentially on 2025 that, that's what Rockstar has been saying Rockstar didn't say anything about when in 2025 will GTA 6 release so we shouldn't really assume this is all assumption right the Kotaku's article is all assumption and nothing else it's all speculation from the sources they have heard from Rockstar Games and it doesn't provide any new information that we don't know of so yeah that's my whole point of this uh, rant about this article and all that stuff and I wanted to essentially you know debunk some stuff some unnecessary panic or clickbait potential clickbait that have been rampant after this article so I think I did my job but whatever anyways that's it that's the whole video the G GTA 6 is still scheduled for 2025 Rockstar is still aiming for 2025 spring according to this article at according to the sources they have heard I still don't believe I am I am staying blind into this matter and whenever it comes I'll be happy but remember it is most likely 2025